be five share also we discussed. Yeah, why we use Azure file share storage? Why we use Azure file share? What is Azure file share? Uh, Azure file share is a cloud a type of a cloud application. Azure file share is a type of cloud. We can store uh, uh, data in the so we can store the data over here. So we can store in the blob storage also. So what is the difference? Ma'am, we can access the files in multiple uh, virtual machines. OK, any example can you give? Um, uh, if we, ma'am, uh, ma if two persons wants to uh, sh see this file, ma'am, in, uh, in their virtual machines, ma'am, so they can access the file, ma'am, within it. Mm, yes. Like here, if you see, this is one diagram that they are trying to show. Like, for example, you have on premises server in this Mexico city. OK, over there you have uh, some files, OK, or some on prem servers are there that you want to share it. OK, in the different different location in Mexico, we don't have. OK, so you have different branch offices where you have different backups and everything is available that you want to maintain. Like, for example, one database server are hosted over here. OK, another hosted under the different branch offices and another hosted into the machine. So in that case here, if any fail is like, for example, here in the CTL, your uh, server went down. OK, you lost the connectivity. So still you don't have a, like any backup or something is available. So this uh, file share means like whatever backup or something, any configuration file, licensing file, any uh, sharing file that you want to put, you can store it into the Azure Cloud file share storage. Now with the help of that, you can do the connectivity and you can integrate and you can access it and you can share between cloud or on premises. OK, in on premises or in the cloud, you can use. If you see, like I give you one example, like I created one virtual machine and I want to access it over the cloud or maybe I want to deploy it into the on premises so I can put the virtual machine image in the local. OK, uh, sorry, in the Azure file share storage and I can access it from the local and I can access it from the Azure also. So it will give you a flexibility, good performance, compatibility and SLA, high availability, all the options that you can access it from the on premises as well as on the cloud. But your blob storage is only available in the Azure storage. OK, it is not available in the local. Like here you can see there is a. You can see Azure file share. It will give you SMB interface, client library and a REST interface where that will allow you to access your data anywhere. Here Azure blob storage, it will only allow the unstructured data where you can put the data in the cloud. OK, and here it's not like you cannot share it uh, from the local. It supports streaming random access scenario and access the application anywhere. But here you can see it supports the lift and shift application to cloud. It means in the on-premises you have data. You want to migrate it into the Azure. The okay, on-premises I'm referring if you have a data in the local server and you want to migrate it on the Azure. You want to store the shared data access. Okay, you want to store the development and debug the tool. So for that you can go for the file storage or this one. OK. So file share also we discuss and Azure storage tool, Azure Storage Explorer also we talk about. So this is good in the storage. Any question on the storage? And if I ask some question on the storage, you guys are able to answer. Any question on the storage? We can host one static website in the storage and I show own you also that right here you need to configure it and you can host your static website in the storage you need to give your html folder path index.html folder and here the error path and you can simply enable it and you can host okay one static website okay your html code should be there 
let me give you a link and try it out at your site. Okay, there is a step mentioned. Just try with this one. Are you able to host your website uh, over here? Okay, if not code. Uh, and you do not need to associate any server over here. You can simply define it. This is the correct link for the step by step guide. And you can see. Yes, this is the steps that you can follow. I'm pasting in the chat. You guys can implement how you can host a website in the storage. Okay. Okay. Just try that. Are you able to host a website over here or not? I guess I have code also available. Okay. So there are code uh, that I simply I write it down one. What it's written is okay. Why it's written like this? Hmm. This is the actual code, right? It is going to show this hello world. It's not opening correctly. Let me open into word file. Notepad file. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So this is HTML code, doc type HTML, and in the HTML body, I write it down hello world. And then body is going to be closed and your HTML code is going to be closed. Similar way here, another file is this 404. That is the error file. OK, here only 404 is going to come. So there are two files that what you need to do is you need to load it over here. Go to your storage. Okay, currently we are over here, so it should be disabled for you initially. Okay, initially it is going to be disabled for you. What you need to do is go to the storage account, go to the static website, click on the enable, and then provide the document name. So my document name is uh, this one. Hopefully it will work if I am not. HTML, okay, and error document path also you need to provide. So uh, you can put it down over here. The error path is like it will be under the raw. Okay, and you can click on save. Then a URL will be generated. And let's upload the file that we have. So once you save it, then if you go to the container, there is a dollar web will be there. So go inside this dollar web and upload your file. That index.html. Okay, so I'm going to put the file that is same we have is host static website with the full yeah, static website student. So this index.html file I'm going to load it. And let's upload your another file also in the same error file. Not sure it should work, but 
let's see i have not tested this before <laughs> that's why okay and over here also i'll give the same path um This is my file name. Okay, so I'm passing go to the dollar where that is a container. It is this container will automatically created. You do not need to create this container and click on save. So now once you save it, then there is a primary endpoint is going to come. Let's copy this one and here we can load this. I guess I missed one line. Hmm, see, hello world. Now it's coming up. If I am hitting this URL, data valley, this one, data valley, ADLS. Okay, and if I am hitting this URL, it is going to open your website. This is my website URL. Okay, hello world. If I am doing any changes in the file, right? Uh, let me do changes over here. Is Let me put to today's date is 14th July 2023. Okay, and I'm going to save this and I'll upload the new file. See, let me upload this file because I made the changes or maybe you can make the changes over here also. How you can do? Go to the container, open your file, open this index.html. If you click on the add it, here you can do the changes. Okay, here also you can do. Okay, today's date is this, and I'm going to click on save. Okay, now if I'm going to refresh this page, what it is going to be show over here? What it should show um, over here? Hello world, today is 14th July 23. Right, so here you can see you can, it is just creating a static website, not dynamic one, but yeah, static website you can host over here. Right. So if you make changes in your index.html, same thing is going to be referred. And this we are referring for the error. Like if any error occurs, then it is going to display this. Okay.